You know what's good, YouTube subscribe Tavia here, back again once again, and today, people, I, fuck, I finally did it again. Went through that gym yet again, caught back up, got everything back how it was, and now we need to have a quick party update. Because, yeah, some of the levels may be a bit different, so I'm sorry about that if they are. But, either way, we got Boombot, the bold Loudred. On the lucky egg, which I'm gonna take off him in just a moment. But he's got uproar, pound, howl, and an astonish. Then we have the relaxed, oblivious pilot's one. Hell with the ultimate Pokemon! That's staying a thing, I don't care. <laughs> I like it too much. Can't believe I just defend that every day. But then Hellwig, the ultimate Pokemon, has Horn Attack, Toxic, Powder Snow, and Takedown. He didn't say that. <laughs> then we got the docile, swarming Heracross named Hercules, our starter, actually, surprisingly, on the Black Belt, which will power up his Brick Break and Rock Smash, but he also has Horn Attack and Tackle. Then we have the modest, own tempo, Rockstar, Psy, the Ground Pig! Insert. Uh, mega horn sounds here. But, Grumpit, I mean, but Psy has the Brat Powder, which may give his opponent a chance to miss him completely because lols. But we also have Confuse Ray just to piss them off more, and then Psy Beam to confuse them, and then Shockwave if they want to try to piss us off, and then Psy Wave just for because. Then we have the naughty, lightning rotting Manectric named Mountain. On the Magnet, which will power up his Thunderbolt. But he has Thunder Wave, Quick Attack, and Thief. Then we have the MVP of this team. Easily the MVP. I don't care what you say. This Pokemon right here dominates everything that comes into his path. The adamant, sand streaming Tyranitar named Drax. Holding the Black Glasses, which will power up his bite. But he also has Surf. Because I had to give it to someone and no one else could learn it. Rock Slide. And essentially the normal type version of Outrage Thrash. Drax kills everything. But I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh, take the Lucky Egg away from Boombox. And I'm gonna give him another item. I meant to do this off screen, but I forgot to do it, so whatever. Uh, what am I gonna give him? I should have something. Guess I don't have anything, but whatever. I actually know where we're supposed to go today. The uh, Team Magma thing that I was trying to do close to the end of the last episode before I decided to accidentally fuck up and um, have to redo everything. Well, that's going to be for later. I had to look it up. Oh yeah, by the way, I went ahead and picked up the uh, fishing rod from him. Ignore the paparazzi. Paparazzi suck. I don't understand. Steven. I, I forgot about Steven here. We're gonna be fine. You late, late game. Excuse me. But, yeah. In case you uh, missed my little update on that. I believe in the last episode I announced that we will be fighting Steven. Steven will be the last battle that we have in this game, and we're not even going to attempt to catch this thing. Fuck off, ditto. Should I actually... Hold on. Oh, wait, no, I've already had... I've already ran into a ditto all the way back in yellow, thankfully. Yeah. And now, route no, night. I don't understand this. Why can't I ride my bike through the grass? I don't care how thick it is. Whatever, I'll just... Oh, so you have to get off your bike. Mm. Wait, how many Pokeballs do we have? Um... We got plenty. More than plenty, actually. And our encounter on Route 216 is going to be a Mawile. Okay. I actually don't mind that. Granted, it's not Mega Mawile, so it's not going to be in sit band to Ubers, almost. <laughs> really can't blame them. This is probably not going to do anything. It actually does more than I expected. 
It's gonna go for the bite, which is special. Dang, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I hope we can actually get this Mawile. I would not mind putting a Mawile on my team. What is that lower? Spadef. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate now that he's going for bite. But earlier today, I tried to do something. I, I was uh, trying to record a series, but you can stop that boombox. Like, seriously, stop. Like, right now. Please, for real, just stop. Boombox does not care. Boombox just wants everything to die. This thing hurts. And remember, that was resisted. So, yeah, Boombox likes to run through pretty much anyone. Ah, I have like a whole mix of emotions like, aww. I love Absol, and then I, aww, I can't have Absol, and then, aww, I'm angry. <laughs> I did not know one word could display three emotions, but it apparently can. Anyway, so I was trying to say, before I get interrupted yet again. Gina Pichol! Okay, I'm going to talk about this, and then I'm going to talk about what I was originally going to talk about. Uh, speaking uh, speaking of Beedrill, I... Mega forms are a nice thing for the meta. I will say that. I'm going to preface this rant with that. Megas can be good for the meta. An Everstone? Why would I ever use that? Why would I ever stone use it? <laughs> Someone shoot me. But, like I said, Megas can be good for the meta, depending on the Mega and what meta we're talking about here. Isn't this a rest house, by the way? Why do you have so many Wingles? Cave of Origin. People rumor that the spirits of Pokemon are revived there. Could something like that really happen? Wait, isn't the uh, Cave of Origin of uh, what Arceus is from? Sinnoh confirmed. Sinnoh Remix confirmed. But, let's look at someone like Beedrill, who, before his Mega, was absolutely booty. I don't care how big of a fan you are of Beedrill, you have to admit that regular Beedrill kind of sucked. And, I'm not going to get into my little rant about why in the world isn't there a Mega Butterfree yet, but, it'll come, it'll come. But, originally, in Oros, I mean, not in Oros, but in X and Y, Beedrill was PU. It was at the bottom of the barrel along with Butterfree, but that's because Butterfree is babe, but and he won, and Butterfree, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love Butterfree, shut up. But then, whenever Pedro got the Mega, of course they're gonna boost it out of PU. It's way too strong for PU. Are you insane? Yeah, I'm gonna lay down for a second. But you're essentially just boosting up the Mega form. Why don't you just ban the Stone, like the Beedra lot or whatever it's called, to Yu Yu because that's where it is at the moment instead of banning the entire Pokemon there. For a more relevant sample, and someone that can actually do good in their original tier, Metagross. Of course, Mega Metagross is OU, because Jesus Christ, that thing's terrifying. But regular Metagross actually can put in work in UU. Just give it an Assault Vest, 252 HP, uh, 252 attack, and you're good to go. But... No, they banned the entire Pokemon from there, which is not, in my opinion, right. Ban the stone, don't ban the entire Pokemon. Because Assault Vest Metagross can work. Is it better than regular Metagross? No, I'm not even going to act like it isn't. Oh, screw you with your Shin Ninja. Thankfully, you're just going to die in one hit. I hate Shen Ninja. Shen Ninja is such an annoying Pokemon to fight if you don't have an answer. Thankfully, we do have an answer in Boombox. Which I was honestly thinking about getting rid of. Astonished, thankfully, I didn't. 
I mean, granted, we're pretty much completely walled by still types, but whatever. But I've asked a couple of people in like the higher ups, like, okay, why don't you do complex bands more? It's like, oh, they're pointless and stupid. No, not really. And then they say, oh, wait, no, it's too complicated. Really? It's too complicated to ban an item. Even though, wait, 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 wait. Remember, Soul Dew was banned? Yeah, Soul Dew's banned. In case you don't play by Smog and Rules, which honestly, I can't blame you. Because Smog is a piece of bullshit sometimes. <laughs> oh, here comes the competitive fanboys. But. Why would you not just ban the item from those tiers and instead ban the entire Pokemon? Because it's essentially a brand new Pokemon. Does it have its own dex entry? No, but is that what you classify as what makes a Pokemon? If so, well, you're kind of stupid. Because the uh, Meowsticks don't have their own Pokedex entry each, I believe. But guess what? They're counting as their own Pokemon. If that's the case, then it should be based off of stats and move pool. Well, not really move pool. Stats and abilities. Which, Mega Metagross, Mega Beedrill, completely different stats. So, that's just whatever. Wish they would change that. I know they won't, but, eh. Anyway, so I was originally trying to say at the beginning of this episode before I ended up getting sidetracked about everything was I kind of mentioned a uh, secondary channel. I mentioned I was going to do some Binding of Isaac on it. If you don't know what Binding of Isaac is, just go look up Northern Lions like 980 part series of it. Yeah, he uh, kind of likes the game just a bit, I would say. Also, what is what does more uproar or stomp? I gotta check that out after this battle. Either way, we one shot an Electrike, so that's good. Boombox is so powerful. I love this thing. I'm glad I replaced the Ponyta with this. This thing actually hits hard. Like, didn't most people run Hyper Voice last gen then? Because Boom Burst wasn't until this gen, or as I call it, Boom! -ba -boom! Yes, every time I use that move, I have to make that noise. So, you're lucky I don't have that move on him, or you'd get tired of that real quick, I think. But, yeah, I was uh, playing some Binding of Isaac, trying to record a video, and... Oh my god, I don't see how Northern Lion does that. I, I can talk over Pokemon for such a long time, and then I can go back to whatever I need to talk about that's going on in the game at the moment, but Jesus Christ, I can't do that with that game. I've tried. I even tried to give myself like one of the uh, overpowered runs, just to see if that would help. No, that makes it worse. Like, what I was going to do with that series was, I was on Spider Mod. Spider Mod, in case you don't know, is a mod made by a guy named Spider. Yeah. <laughs> and, well, it allows you to edit the floor level the actual cons the items that you spawn with a bunch of different things essentially it makes game platinum god super easy even though I got it legitimately I did not cheat I don't care what you say I did not cheat and well anyways Because of that, uh, what happened was I could not come up with anything to say. I was like, oh, and we killed this enemy. Now oh, we've killed this enemy. Yeah, it was awful. And I wasn't even anywhere near the close to the end of the game. It was a 30 minute video. As you can probably tell by now, I like to keep my videos anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes. And we. And so because of that. Fortunately, the Binding of Isaac on that channel is going to be cancelled. I'm going to still be doing some uh, free games and all that, but the Isaac series is going to be gone. 
for now, I may do some Rebirth, because I absolutely am in love with Rebirth. Rebirth is such a good game, by the way. Seriously, if you, like, even if you've never played The Binding of Isaac, the original, right now, there's uh, still the Steam sales going on, I believe. Hopefully, they're still going on by the time this video goes up. Seriously, go pick that game up. Like, right now. Stop this video. Go pa pause the video and go get that game. Right now, I command you. The game is amazing. <laughs> I'd have to call that game my game of the year. I don't like doing game of the year stuff and all that because it's because I don't play a lot of games. But that game is just so good. But yeah, because of all that, that series is a bit canceled. I may uh, do it for um rebirth if there is ever a spider mod of it. Wink, wink, hush, hush. Please, someone make that, like, right now. Um, psh, let's go to Mountain and Thief. But, that's, that channel should be starting up by the end of January, I hope. I really hope it does. Our first time using Thunderbolt, and it should do a ton of damage to the Soul Rock. It actually paralyzes. Nice. Psy wave. Oh, that's fine. You're using the bad move. They want more thunder wave. Thunder Thunderbolt. <laughs> thunder shock. Thunder wave. Thunder bolt. Maybe. I should actually. Let me try my English once again. Yeah, but I have a couple of games I already have planned. And by the way, if you know any good free games that you would want me to cover uh, just put them in the comments below and I'll go check them out I'm uh, going I'm gonna be pulling a lot of new ground stuff because new grounds is like the best site for free stuff free music free games free art free whatever you want basically I wonder what the cast form actually is um that, that's not a cast form. I'm gonna name this thing cast form. Because, yeah. You told me you gave me a cast form. So, that's what this thing's gonna be called. This thing is never gonna be used. I hope you realize that. Actually, no, I'm gonna name it cast form with a question mark. Cast form? Oh, so it was Cascoon. Yeah. Isn't Cascoon the one that falls into a dust ox? I always get that one mixed up, which is why, which is why I hate Wormpool. Wormpool is the only Pokemon that evolves that way. Like, there's a difference between someone like uh, Pancham into Pangoro, or Inkay into Malamar with their weird... Uh, methods. By the way, I wonder how they're going to uh, do a 3DS emulator for X and Y whenever it comes to Malamar. It's going to be interesting. Oh, yeah, we have a rival battle here. Crap. I don't know if I'm prepared for this battle. I'm actually kind of scared. <laughs> Shit. May, what are you... Okay, you're going to have a shuff it. That's that's not the best for me, but I do have Astonish. Hopefully that should be enough to take you out. Whoa, okay, that did nothing. Flinch! <laughs> Get more and we should be able to take him out. Just flinch again, please. Ugh, that's unfortunate. We're down to eight. But... Yeah. A couple of games I want to play is I want to play a bunch of weird little games on there also. Like, for example, Feed the Head. Just go look that up. It's also an app on your iPad and iPhone and all that junk. But, that's a high level. Psybeam, come on. Break, break. You can take it, Psy. You can take this. There you go, buddy. Jesus Christ, you ate that! 
Okay. That's a bit scary. I think you all have to admit that's a tiny bit scary that he ate that so well. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Thank you for choking. But. Yeah, my mind's uh, kind of. <gasps> Break brightness! Boom! And the hair cross goes down. The bright powder actually worked. I. <laughs> the bright powder worked. <laughs> nice. Magic coat. Um, no thank you. I don't even know what magic coat does, but no thank you. Sheninja. Uh, I could go to Drax and just let the sand kill it, but whatever. I'll just go to Boombox. Get Boombox up to level 30. Which, actually having a Shen Ninja is not bad. Does any regular trainer actually carry Shen Ninja? I might have to look that up. Like, who actually runs a regular Shen Ninja in any of the games? Because I never see it. Mega Shen Ninja confirmed. Ability, sturdy. Oh god. Might as well just give, um... Might as well give psh, Mega Shuckle Wonder Guard or something. Because that thing is... I wonder what would have a better chance of dying first. Mega, sh mega Shirk... Mega... Mega Shuckle with Wonder Guard. There we go, Tongue. You're working hard today, okay, buddy? Yes, I'm... Not gonna finish out. I was about to say that sentence. I was about to say, I'm fingering out my mouth. But, or Sturdy Mega Sheninja. Probably Mega Sheninja would die faster because people would be carrying moves like Toxic and all that a lot more. And uh, Drax, that, and uh, Tyranitar would probably become one of the most used Pokemon in the entire game. I actually wonder where a Mega Sheninja would end up. Especially if it did have Sturdy. Because you can't get past the fact that it only has 1 HP. HP can't increase. Magical Leaf that... Yeah, we're supposed to be training up other Pokemon now, so go ahead. Hey, that's me. Stop it. It's bad Blossom. Thank God. He only went for the... Uh, oh, okay, that's actually not too good. Sweet Sand. Okay, we're good. Got a little bit scared there because Blossom can be kind of scary in game. I did not realize that until this game, by the way. Is Blossom a um third generation Pokemon? I think so. I think third generation is the only odd number generation to ever introduce evolutions for previous generation Pokemon. Granted, we've only had six generations, but still is that an intro to okay i didn't know if that was an intro to a actual forest or not because you you can't you can't see the uh town from here but i think that's actually going to be getting close to the end of the episode for today because next time we're going to be going through all of that area. Actually, no. Next time, what we're going to do is... We're going to go get that mystery Pokemon out of the way of the Pokemon Center. And then we're going to be taking on the gym. So, in between episodes, I'm going to do a bit of grinding. Get everyone up to the level that they need to be. And then we will take on the gym next time. So I've been Crabtavio, you've been watching, if you enjoyed the content, smash the like button, subscribe, come back tomorrow to do what I said that we were going to do, and until then, thank you for watching, fuck you microphone, <laughs> and peace.